Hello, I'm Dorian, joined by Ashley. Hello, hello. Today, we are going to take on a reader request, Ash. They have asked, the readers and viewers that is, how do I dress to appear slimmer? Or how can I dress to make myself look slimmer? And it's been requested for a while. Larger gentlemen out there have been wanting to know, so I think it's time to answer it and- Great, so... I definitely have some tips and tricks that I use for my broader, bigger clients. Let's do it. Okay, so tip number one, and this is very important, you wanna get the right fit. You actually want to have a tailored fit to your clothes because that's what's gonna actually make you appear slimmer than you are. The quickest way to make you look even bigger and sloppier is to wear baggy clothes. They think that if they're wearing fitted clothing, it'll actually highlight it, but that's not true at all. No, no, it's not at all. Your clothes need to fit your body. That's the most important thing. That's the number one thing first that I want to make sure that I instill in you all, and then we'll go into the tricks to kind of like visually... Play with your proportions. Play, yeah, play bit. with your proportions. Yep. Okay, so the next tip. Now that you have well-fitted clothes, um, an easy way to appear slimmer is to wear darker clothes. I'm sure you've heard that before, but dark colors especially should be worn for the bottom half of your body, I will say. Because if you go lighter, like with a light brown, like a khaki color, it actually kind of, because you know, usually your thighs are gonna be touching, so it actually makes you look kind of um, really hippie and thick. And so dark colors can really slim you down and trick the eye um, and help just kind of camouflage any problem areas you might have. Now, on the upper half, if you wanna add some brightness, I definitely recommend going with a patterned shirt. You wanna go with something that's bigger because you're a broader guy. There's more surface area to cover. Um, so it's gonna help balance you out better than something that's super, like a tight, tight, tight pattern. And then obviously avoid the age old thing of uh, horizontal stripes. Yes, don't Be do horizontal stripes. Because what it does is if you're like a larger guy, it basically starts creating the illusion of width and that's really what you're trying to avoid. You're trying to make yourself look slimmer that way, not so wide. You might've heard that before and that is 100% true. Definitely go with vertical stripes if you absolutely have to go with stripes at all. I think you, you would suggest more of a pattern than yep. stripes, right? Yep. Okay, great. Okay, so the next tip um, is to keep your blazers buttoned up. Suit jackets as well, Yep, right? suit jackets okay. buttoned up. That's gonna create the illusion of a slimmer body. Um, especially your upper torso. And then any kind of casual jacket or like a cardigan, that if you're gonna be wearing a cardigan, you wanna actually leave it unzipped or unbuttoned. So that's gonna help break you up vertically. So an easy way to make you look visually slimmer is to leave your jacket undone unless it's a suit jacket or blazer. Why for the suit jacket and blazer specifically? Because a well-fitting suit jacket actually nips you in at the waist. So when you button it up, it actually kind of creates like an oh, illusion of a waist for I see, you. So, I see. So that's why it's gonna make you look slimmer and sharper. So when you're wearing a sweater or a casual jacket, can't you just unzip or keep it unbuttoned to create that kind of V or no? No, okay. because with a casual jacket, like say for instance, a bomber jacket, even if you zip it up and maybe you stop like halfway, it still is a lot of fabric around oh, your stomach oh. area. I think most men would think that the pockets of like a bomber jacket might hide their belly a little it more. Really, and, and I get that. I, I, I definitely think that's a very common belief. However, it really highlights actually your tummy area and that's not what you want to do. So you actually want to leave it unzipped and with, if you're wearing a cardigan, leave it unbuttoned. Yep. All right, so the next tip is to go with the right materials. You wanna wear the right materials. What I'm talking about is you wanna make sure that you're not choosing materials that are super heavy looking, like really thick, really like, like puffy. Chunky sweaters. Like, ch like, yeah, especially like chunky, like knit sweaters. Okay. You don't wanna go with those items. You wanna go with a more refined, um, more medium weight medium weight okay. fabric now a perfect example i think that kind of will illustrate what i'm talking about is for polo shirts so for polo shirts someone like you a just a pima cotton um or cotton, silk, silk blend cotton, yeah. um polo shirt is fantastic 
But for a broader guy or a bigger gentleman, it's going to actually cling to like maybe your boobs area, the boob pec chest. area, chest area, <laughs> <Boobs>. <laughs> you know, and then your tummy area, it's gonna cling to. So instead, you wanna actually go with a PK cotton, which is like a textured, slightly heavier weight cotton. And what that does is it actually kind of almost like airbrushes your torso so that it provides like a, a very slimming, visually slimming effect to your body. So that's what I mean by choosing the right material. Don't go too thin, but also don't go super, super, super heavy. And you can easily do this when you're in the store. Find something that is like a similar thing, like Ashley was saying, like a polo shirt is a great example. Put on like the cotton version, put on what feels to you like a little thicker of a version, and take a picture of yourself and see where like you start seeing more bunching or more things. You'll start noticing it pretty quickly. Everyone's gonna be a little picky for themselves, but if you really start looking for those details, you will absolutely notice that there is a difference. So, Ash, there is one more point left. Yes, right? last point. Yep. So. Um, I highly recommend adding a layer or two. Now when I say one layer, what I mean by that is like a jacket. So whether it be a blazer, which if you're wearing a blazer, I highly recommend that you, you actually button it up. So if you wanna add like a second layer though, like a vest, or a cardigan underneath, say your suit jacket or underneath your casual jacket, mm -hmm. then um, keep it buttoned up. It's actually really nice because it adds, it hides the tummy and then the jacket on top slim it helps, down. helps slim it down. Now, if you are gonna do those two layers, like a cardigan or a vest underneath a suit jacket or a blazer, I actually think, and I highly recommend that you leave the blazer open. So leave it unfastened. Uh, you don't need to button it up because then it feels like a little too bulky now. Guys, I think that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.